Major Slack videos. Boy, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. All right, let's walk through some more prey. Here we are in Morgan Yu's office, and we have a whopping 10 neuromods at our disposal. I know exactly what, what I want to do. Um, we already have our The Way of the Drunken Wrench build uh, set up. <laughs> Shout out to the Space Wizard who came up with that name uh, in the comments section of part 7. The Way of the Drunken Wrench. That's where we use the wrench. And we have uh, Impact Calibration 1 and Impact Calibration 2 giving us 50% more damage to the wrench. And um, we have um, Lab Tech 1 and Lab Tech 2 allowing us to fully max out the incapacitation rate of the glue gun or the glue cannon so you've seen me doing this lately um, I just glue up the enemies and then take up my wrench and if it's a particularly tough enemy we can drink some alcohol which gives you extra melee damage believe it or not and then whack them with the wrench boom that's the way of the drunken wrench <laughs> now we need a kind of a backup to that and that I know I ran down the shotgun earlier saying oh, the shotgun sex because you can't upgrade the range I still think that but um, we need it because there are not very many options. So we're going to upgrade the shotgun. To do that, um, we're going to spend some of these neuromods in the right places. First of all, let's get Gunsmith 1. All right, that's going to cost us 4 neuromods. And instead of getting Gunsmith 2, I think it actually makes more sense to get Firearms 1 right here. All right. This will also cost us another four neuromods. And then finally, um, let's get suit modification one to give us some much needed extra space in our backpack. Because we're we're going on a long ass haul here, and there's not many recycler stations on the way. And we're gonna need a lot of extra space in our, in our suit. Alright, so that's that. Let's mod up the shotgun. First of all, let's reorganize the inventory here. Um, I'm going to drop off the Q-Beam. I know it's a fantastic weapon, but ammo is limited. You're going to run out very quickly, and then you're going to be stuck with um, this thing taking up a lot of space in your inventory. All right? so dump that off. Dump off the uh, ammo for it. What else do I want to dump off? Oh, I want to make some shotgun shell ammo. So let's take out all the materials. All the food. Suit repair kits. I believe they can only stack 10 high. Let's bring these 9 mil bullets as well. Recycler charges. Let's just bring out everything. And then we'll put back some of these things that are, are maxing out their stacks. For example, my suit repair kit can only stack up to 10. So let's put this back. Um, there we go. Let's start off, like I said, with modding up the shotgun. Give it some extra firepower. Now with all the mods that I just got, this should bring up the damage to 65. Plus applying all these weapon upgrade kits, three of them to be exact. And that's all we can apply without getting the um, Gunsmith 2 mod. Alright, so that's it. And as you can see, our damage is up to 65. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Alright, so now... We got ourselves a shotgun. Let's hotkey that as number four. And let's make some ammo for the shotgun. A security station in the lobby might have weapons. I'm gonna make as many as I can. Let's crank him out. This should make me close to a hundred. Huh, I've never seen this happen before. It's asked me to pick up items before I can make more, okay? Just keep cranking them out, baby. Lots and lots and lots of shotgun ammo. That's it. Refresh out. We need more mineral materials to refresh out. That's all we can make. Your it's office just... is relatively secure. Yes. Come back if you need to rest or use the fabricator. Quiet, January. 
You're doing a walkthrough here. That looks like about it. Let me just rearrange the inventory. Yep, that looks like about it. Let's dump this one off since it's only a stack of one. It's taking up a lot of space for nothing and that's it. Everything is just the way we like, sir. Alright, we're off to see the wizard ready to rock and roll. We got a kick-ass shotgun and we got our the way of the drunken wrench build. Next, deep storage. Take the main lift in the lobby to the Arboretum. Now, henceforth, we're going to be facing these badass phantoms known as etheric phantoms. These things are a bitch. They can duplicate themselves and then the double comes at you. The double is weaker, but um, they can both come at you and it gets to be, it's just a hell of a mess when these things get going. So basically you want to take down etheric phantoms hard and fast. Okay, there's one down there now. What I usually like to do is tag them up ahead of time. And I use primarily explosive containers on them and back it up with a shotgun. Just to save on shotgun ammo. There he is right there. Let's use the scope, tag him. There he's tagged. That's great. Now let's get our sneak on. Get into the, tra the trans tar exhibit and um, set up a little explosive trap for him. Now you gotta watch these guys, eh? they're really super hypersensitive. You'll get busted in a New York minute if you make a wrong move, so don't underestimate them. Okay, so we got two explosive containers in here. I'm gonna set them up, set up a trap right near the, the door there. All right, and also I want to turn off Josh Dalton's tracker. So we have a clear view of this guy here. And let's turn off the main lift tracker too. Okay, so there we go. There's that etheric phantom. Stay low. See, they're just watching him now, see what he does. Okay, that looks good. Let's dump this off right here. I have been busted so many times in practice runs doing this, so that's how I know that they're really super sensitive. Which you can exploit, eh? You can get their attention very easily. Well, normally very easily. <laughs> okay, we're all set up. The trap is set. Okay, let's see if we can get his attention. You there. Yeah, that's right. Get all upset. Come on over this way. That's right. Walk this way. Let's get a theory phantom. And... Oh yeah! Did I get him? Okay, he's in very low health. Stick him up. Way of a drunken ranch and... Ah! <laughs> Man, did he tax me. That's typically the case. Just getting near those buggers. Oh, we got a weapon upgrade kit. Sweet. Okay, let's nosh on a few things here. Um, that.
Damn. Oh, okay. Reload. And check the lift. Uh oh. Okay, so we've been redirected to the psychotronics lab. It's this right is over security here. Security Chief Elazar. Who the hell shut down the elevators and airlocks? Answer me. My team's locked down tight here. We need those lifts working. Sam, it can't be a power loss, can it? I don't think so, Chief. The main lift and all the airlocks shut down at once. It had to be manual. Damn it. First they give us pop guns, put us on babysitting duty, then open the gates of hell and lock us in. Transtar's going to need an army of lawyers when I get Earthside. Anyone else on the station, get to a safe area. Check your surroundings. Walls, floor, ceiling. Then seal yourself in. We're working on the problem, and we'll be there to retrieve you as soon as we can. <sighs> Elazar out. Okay, quiet you. We're doing a walkthrough here. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Just waiting for it to be quiet. We're continuing down that way. And here we go with some more backstory. Alright, so it looks like there's a new handler on the scene. His name is December. We have to meet him in the foyer. Um, let's just pick up these spare parts in here. That's all that there is in here. Make sure you um, disable that electric zappy thing. And let's go to the foyer. The foyer is that first big area that we uh, got our glue gun in. So we'll have to go back up to the Neuromod division and into that map up here, down this way. To the Neuromod Division. Morgan, that operator was an earlier defective model. Or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos 1 before it's too late. Okay, can we slow down on the NPC dialogue here and let me play the game? Huh? Thank you. Okay, now make sure you hit up this guy for a free Neuromod and the save code. This is dynamic, so once again, don't tell your friends it's not going to work for them. It's, a diff it's different every time. Did you find something interesting? Yeah, Alex's, Alex's office safe code. Done? Done. Thank you. Okay, so you get a free Neuromod for following that up, and let's go back to Psychotronics. Okay, back downstairs. Psychotronics. Whee! <laughs> okay, now we got another etheric phantom down there. I think January's gonna cut in and say something. January? Hello? Wanna say something? Okay, let's carefully tag him up. You can see him through the kind of like the the graded floor here. He's down there somewhere. Let's again be very careful. Walk softly and carry a big stick. These things are Good hyper sensitive. Morning, Talos. Warning: tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing the system, please send a help alert to security. He can see you through the grates here, eh? One thing you can do is lay down some glue to kind of block his view. He's actually coming up. 
before I got a chance to use to, to lay down my trap. And I forgot to do something here. Um, Get the door to shut, shut the door. Okay. I forgot to do something. There is another explosive container to the east side of the main lift. Okay, just showing the map where this is. Right there. Let's grab this guy. Couple it with the other one and lay a little trap for this guy. Looks like he went back downstairs a little bit. Coming back up again. So what we could do is go back downstairs. Okay, he's suspicious, that's good. I'm just gonna pop up and blow those. Ready, and... Damn it. Got him, great. <laughs> Excellent. Haha. Uh -huh. Somebody walked into a blow-up shit trap, didn't they? And another weapon upgrade kit, excellent. Okay, so that should be it. He should be clear all the way down to Psychotronics. Okay, so yeah, that's the strategy for etheric phantoms I used to save on shotgun shells. Because otherwise you're blasting away till there's like, you know, till the end of time. Another thing you could do, if you manage to sneak down here, if he stays stuck down here, okay, and he doesn't want to come up, which he often does, you can sneak down here with an explosive container, carry it all the way down here, okay, make sure you're like he doesn't see you, and then right about here, plant it right about here, and then when he walks over to near that one, throw this explosive container at that one, and all three of them blow up, instant kill. I think that's another strategy. I think there's something behind here. And we are done. What's your story? Some biohazard waste. Mix that up with some eggs and a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and you got yourself a nice omelet. Yeah, we slack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, psychotronics. Here we go.